Okay, let's say hypothetically, you've connected your Android device via USB to your Windows computer, but the Windows computer is unable to recognize your Android phone to transfer files. And you've successfully put your phone on MTP mode, media transfer mode. You've done everything correctly. You've checked all the things, but you don't know where the problem is coming from. 100% you'll be able to fix this. And I'm gonna start with all the easiest ones to the most complicated and hard ones. So you wanna watch this video throughout the end because your solution might be the ones towards the end. But please, before that, like this video and subscribe to my channel and leave a positive comment down there below. I'm a small YouTuber, guys. It means a lot to me, your support. So please do that favor to me. And let's get into the main point. The first problem that might cause this issue is the broken port of your PC and you might want to use different ports of the PC because in some circumstances the port of your PC might be broken and that would be the cause of this issue. So just keep it in mind as like a first solution. Look as for the second solution, you might want to check the cable of your Android phone because not all the cables are capable of transferring the data inside Android devices. Some cables are just able to charge your phone. Just try to change your cable and it might help you. Okay, okay, so we're getting to the interesting points. Inside your computer, if none of the previous solutions worked for you, inside your computer, you just wanna search for device, I mean, device manager and open it and you will just face this page, okay? And under the section of other devices, you might face an error like this, a yellow triangle, which means that your device is not recognized by this PC. So what do you want to do is that you just want to right click on that device and click on update driver, either click on search automatically or browse my computer for drivers, the next, and then select one of the drivers that your PC came up with. If not, just expand universal serial bus controllers and do the same thing in that area as well. In my case, I don't think that's a problem. There's not a USB hub, which is unrecognized by my PC. So you definitely want to check all of these options at the starting point. So let's get into the next one. On your Android device itself, you want to enter settings section and then scroll all the way down to about phone, right? Then scroll down again to build number, right? What do you want to do is that you want to spam click the build number seven to 10 times rapidly, right? You just want to spam it and boom, it will ask for your passcode. Hit, okay? You are now a developer. That's what we want to see, right? Then get back by one to the main settings section, then get into the system section, scroll down again, and boom, here you can see it says developer option. Developer option has been activated on your phone. So you wanna enter it and I scroll down a little to USB debugging, right? Then enable USB debugging. It will ask you if you're sure that you wanna enable it. You wanna just click okay and make sure that your phone has been set to file transfer or MTP media file transfer, um, media transfer protocol. By doing this, you most probably will solve your problem. If not, which is rare, we're going for the final boss and let me tell you what it is. So if none of these previous solutions work for you, at this point, what do you wanna do is that inside your Windows 11 or Windows 10 interface, you just wanna search for a universal ADB driver, right? Universal ADB drivers. Just click on the first link. I'll also put the link in the description as well. And then click on download drivers. And you just need to install it and it has to be easy as a pie. But first, it says, please disconnect your Android device before installing universal ADB driver on your computer. That's a crucial point, okay? So you just wanna make sure that your Android device has been disconnected. So just click next and then next. Don't change, I'll suggest you not to change anything. Next again. 
Okay, universal ADB driver has been successfully installed. Installation of universal is complete. Just click on close. So as you can see, I've selected file transfer mode mm -hmm. into this scene and my PC can recognize my phone like a smooth butter. Okay, I hope you've solved your problem by now. Please like this video if you find any value. Subscribe to my channel, leave a positive comment. It all means a lot to me. And take care of yourself and see you in the next one.